Welcome to a new video on Orca 6. Now I am going to show a test I did of the GOAT algorithm for finding a global minima. So this is a very simple input file. I just put XTB. That will be the model using Grimes XTB program as an external optimizer and the GOAT algorithm. So here are only the coordinates and I also have the orbitals just in case. This is my shell script that contains some specific setup for the XTB program. I am not sure this is needed in Orca 6. So I run this calculation and first I'm going to show you in the output file how long it lasted. Basically, it took two days, 18 hours, but the amount of optimizations that this calculation did was quite large. These are conformers with different energies and the lowest energy conformer is number zero, conformer number one and the others keep increasing in energy and it found 85 conformers at an energy below 5.9 kilocal per mole. So if we look at the conformers, this is a dimer of two corolles that I use for testing purposes and these are the different conformers. As I move the conformers the energy increases and the higher energy ones have structures that are less likely. The more likely structure is some kind of pi stacked dimer so I want to stress out that even though this calculation took two days and 18 hours it probably did hundreds or thousands of individual single point calculations because it searched along many different routes. So if we go back, we can see here in the data summary show energy, we can see that the lowest energy conformer is number zero and then it goes up to six kilocal per mole. At the end of the calculation, only certain information is available, but during the calculation, there are many trajectories and I had been copying some of them. So for example, if I open this trajectory, this is one of the searches the GOAT algorithm did. What we can see is that the algorithm is testing different conformations and finding local minima for different possible uh, pathways of searching for global minima. So here we can see how the algorithm is searching for local minima. That's all for now. I'm going to show in future videos some of the things I will calculate with systems like this here. It is exploring a very high energy pathway, probably. There are still some issues because, for example, if we try to look at the energy, uh, Chemcraft doesn't completely understand the output files for the trajectories. So it, it is not showing the energies. It shows all the energies at zero. But we can see that in the file, each conformation has a different energy. So it is probably just a matter of a minor update in Chemcraft allowing to show the energies properly. Or we could make a script parsing the trajectory files to obtain the energies. So here is the global minimum. And this is a structure that I can use for further calculations. I hope this is interesting as a simple example of what the GOAT algorithm can do in Orca 6. It is actually very impressive how fast you can calculate relatively big systems. I haven't done careful benchmarking between Orca 5 and 6, but so far from using it, I have noticed that Orca 6 seems to be really fast and it doesn't have any problem with big molecules. I'm going to show in uh, future videos much bigger systems that can be optimized in a relatively short time. So that is all for now. Thank you very much.